Hello, welcome to Gamma ID. Please like and subscribe this channel. 2018 Toyota 105.7L for expert double cab, comfortingly familiar but falling further behind the class leaders. What it is? The current generation Toyota 100 is an aging truck that faces off against a much fresher Ford F-150, with brand new versions of the Chevrolet Silverado, GMC Sierra, and Ram 1500 on tap for 2019. The Tundra and the Nissan Titan are the only regular duty full-size pickups to rely solely on the power powered trains. Although there certainly are truck folks who believe that's the way it should be, the market has embraced more efficient options including turbocharged V6S and turbo diesels. The lack of powertrain choices and the dismal fuel economy from the V8S are just two of the many things that dramatically date this pickup, which has been a good performer but even when you never seriously challenged the class leaders. Plus, aside from a few updates here and there, the 2800 is essentially the same truck that they did for 2007. Why we tested it and how it performed, the Tundra comes in five different trim levels, SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum, and the 1794 edition. For 2018, Toyota dropped the regular cab and the RD Pro model from the lineup but did add an optional VRD Sport package for the SR5 trim. The DRD Pro returns for the 2019 model year. The 2018 is offered in double cab and larger crewmax configurations, and customers have the choice of a 5.6-foot, 6.5-foot, or 8.1-foot cargo bed. V8 engines displacing either 4.6 or 5.7 liters send their output to the rear wheels for all four via a six-speed automatic transmission. The 5.7 liter engine is optional on the SR and SR5 and standard on upper trims. What we like, like drinking Coca-Cola out of a real glass bottle or waiting a full week to see a new episode of a TV show, there's something comforting and enjoyable about doing things the old way. There's a familiarity factor to the Tundra that's missing from some of its newer competitors. There's no whistling from a turbocharger, no push button ignition, no asphalt shifter, no weird belt buckle for tribal tattoos soon about the cabin. No material too nice to get dirty. It's just you, a big engine, a spacious cab, and a cargo bed. What we don't like, the interior follows the exterior's lead in simplicity. Despite having plenty of buttons, the chunky design makes it feel suitably truckish. But it's painfully obvious that it comes from a different era. The 7.0-inch infotainment screen looks hopelessly out of date and low in resolution, and some of the buttons look and feel as if they could have been taken from a $10 alarm clock. The fit would a degree is so, and there are plenty of hard surfaces broken up by only a few soft ones.